Okay, I'm just going to call this winter uh, through trip hiking without spending uh, $5,000 on gear for ultralight gear. All right, this is all the gear I have. I'm not buying any new gear, so I'm just reusing the gear I have. This is a through hiking cold tent video. This is not my canvas bushcraft thing with the wood burning stove. So I'm just going to go through it for what it's worth. Jansport 82 liter pack, weighs three and a half pounds, costs seventy dollars. Four pound, zero degree cheapo bag, forty dollars. Three pound, thirty two degree sleeping bag, thirty dollars. So between the two of those, that's seventy dollars, seven pounds. What a killer! But you know, kind of like the military sleep system. I've slept in those two, so this summer summer bag is used as a liner. To this big bag and I've slept in it down to about uh, 10 degrees, 8 degrees and it's uh, fairly comfortable. So I'd like to get to zero degrees but again not spending any money on gear. Uh, my wool shirt and a fleece jacket. Right, That's the winter coat setup. Uh, the other clothes here. Uh, two Polar Max um, heavy duty long sleeve shirts. A uh, heavyweight thermal uh, or fleece, yeah. uh, long underwear, some extra briefs, a short sleeved shirt, and some nylon pants, yeah. right? Those nylon zip off pants. Very nice to be able to change into dry gear. So that's my clothes setup. Right. Extra yeah. pair of socks, so I got one pair of socks on, extra pair of dry socks, and then a pair of sleeping socks, the merino. Wool darn tough socks. Two sleeping bags. This is an old Thermarex. I've had this thing for a long time. It's the three quarter length. It weighs a pound and a half. I know they make them lighter. Again, not spending any money on gear. That weighs a pound and a half. Uh, quarter inch closed cell foam pad weighs 10 ounces. So that goes underneath my Thermarex. Thermarex goes on top. So it's two sleeping pads. You know, maybe I have an R value of five. Oh, got the bird going. These things are really great. Down booties, 12 ounces. And I guess they're up to $35 now at REI. I bought them uh, last year, they were 30. And of course, a pair of sleeping socks, merino, wool, the darn tough socks. Uh, neck gaiter, this is a uh, Cyrus neck gaiter. A uh, pair of wool mittens, metal surf wool mittens, a uh, pair of no surf, no gloves, and a down vest. This thing I got at Goodwill, it's like 20 years old, but the thing is really warm. Good, well stuffed down vests now are like $100, which is pretty crazy, but that's what they are. Now it's very expensive. Moving over here, this isn't really for winter, but I just keep it along with me for the weight. Canister of hair spray, Steri pen with four extra lithium batteries for water purification, nylon. Still my stuff sack, my elk skin PSK, and an emergency blanket. You've seen that. All right, winter camping. I really don't use the Train G unless I'm doing a day hike. So this is an overnight, multi-night hike, right? So I got out the MSR Whisper Light. Can't beat that thing for winter camping. 33 ounce bottle. That lasts you plenty long. Uh, these things, I'm just going to do a call out to these Idahoan you know, instant Never. potatoes, these things are really good. They're filling, they taste good. Of course, they have a good amount of sodium. They don't have any MSG, so just throw in some boiling water. Again, I try to stay away from those dehydrated meals. I know they no, taste decent. They're good on the weight factor, but to me, they just are too expensive. A whole pack of these, which makes four one-half cup servings. So that's two cups of potatoes, which I can't eat at one sitting. That's about a half at once. These things are 99 cents. Throw in some pepperoni slices, salami, some uh, cheddar cheese, you know, hard cheddar cheese are good. Cook kit. The uh, pot cozy with the Optimus Weekender pot, glacier stainless steel cup, that little uh, Tupperware two cup thing, uh, one quart Nalgene, one pint Nalgene, two quart Army uh, canteen, so three and a half quarts of water all the time. Uh, hygiene, the baking soda and alcohol, the little uh, utensil, cooking utensil kit, you've seen that before. The Phoenix LD20 always goes with me, a shamrock towel, a sit pad, a uh, closed cell foam sit pad, 
Still got the uh, open all folding saw. Mainly yeah, because I like that thing, but it is pretty cool. It's helpful. So that's all set up. Cook kit's about three and a half pounds. Clothing is about five pounds if I include this uh, down vest and these down booties and all this right here. Plus what I'm wearing, of course, usually my TAC 511s. I got a pair of wool pants, maybe I'll experiment with those, but these things seem to work well. And uh, my hiking boots, depending on how far I'm going, maybe my sorrels, and then my food bag, of course, depending on how much food I got. That's a lot of food in there. So we're at about 25 pounds base weight. So that's my through hiking kit, winter cold camp, uh, where I consider no wood burning stove, and you know, I have a campfire, but I'm not going to sleep by it. Thanks for watching.